March 7th, 2016. Yeah. You had a big show in Philly. Mm -hmm. Cat Williams somehow ended up on stage. Yeah. And uh, when they start playing What We Do, Cat starts getting in this kind of fighting stance. Yeah. <laughs> and you're you're on stage, right? Mm -hmm. Are are you aware of what's starting to happen? Nah, not I'm I don't know as to really what's going on. Right. Cause I'm performing. And so I just I figured it, I found out after the fact. Like I was performing, so I didn't know what was going on when I did catch it. And I'm like, yo, okay, what's up? You good? And he was like, just finish the show. What's your last song you gonna do on your set? Finish your show. Told me what we do. And right after what we do, whatever they had going on back there at the fan, yeah. Yeah, he rushed a bunch of dudes and they pretty much just beat his ass right there yeah. on stage. Yeah, they was out of pocket. Yeah. So that's that that. See, a lot of people be like, Cat was tripping or he was bugging. That wasn't the case. What was the case? Cat, uh, so Cat had like three shows or two or three shows back to back in Philly. And and I had that uh show. And Cat was, uh, came to the show. Prior to that, I've been kicking him with Cat for like three days. He just pulled up at the, uh, at one of the, the rehearsals that I was having for the show. And nigga gave me a Lambo. Cat Williams gave you a Lamborghini. Yeah. Just here. Yeah, he gave it to me. Lamborghini. Like people was running around saying that I beat Cat out of the Lambo and a dice game. No, that wasn't it. Lamborghini's what, about 200,000? Yeah, pulled up. He, uh, he had, I ain't gonna put it because I don't know if she, this person went. So he had a relationship with somebody, a mutual friend, and he was coming to the city. And he was like, yo, you know, Ben's uh, birthday is on the 6th. He doing the show on the 7th. And I think Cat had a couple shows like back to, like, back to back. No, before that. He had a couple shows before that, and he was he was in town for like a little minute. So he uh he come to the studio we rehearsing, and he gave me the Lambo. So he just gave you the keys. Said yours. Yeah, it was dialogue with it and everything. It was like yo, I appreciate the the. the you know, the dialogue, and he was like, yo, that's you. I'm like, nah, man, I'm cool. You know what I mean? Like, that's you. He was dead ass. Has anyone ever given you a gift that expensive before in life? Yeah. Way more expensive than that. Really? Hell yeah. What did you get more expensive than Lambo? My wife, my kids. There you go. Great answer. My mom, my great head. answer, great answer. Right, but you know what's crazy though is that that shit happened in the Philly show where you know he got into it with the guys. So on stage. that's what happened. So he get that up, boom, boom. So he like, yo, when you show him, I come to your show. He come to the show. Mm -hmm. That's wild. You asked me that question. So he come to the show. It's my birthday. So cat, just start hitting the lid on everybody that's. You know, people that was there, because it was me, it's the Young Guns, a couple people else that was performing, uh, Lil Mo performed, uh, I forget who else, we had a couple guests. So, the guy, Boom, from Philly, that had the, the, the Pop the Perk song. Cat had told Boom, that in so many words, like, yo, this is around the time that song, I'm on fire. So Boom, he had to take him on a roll with him. Mm. To do that song, he was like, yo, all you need is two or three jokes. He was like, who's your manager? He was telling him, like, you just got this, like, what you doing with it? What's going on? Like, what's your, how you moving forward in your career? Cat told him, he was like, 
basically, he was like, man, all you need is two or three jokes around that song you got. You could be getting ten, fifteen thousand dollars a night, easy on the road. Shit, I give you that. The jokes, right? He was, and he, he pointed. Cat was like, "This your guy." He was like, "Shit, if he co-sign it, he's like, I think you got something." Mm. So we told him he could do this for him. So, we doing the show, and I get what's going on. While we doing the show, I introduce Cat out. Cat comes out. He doing his dance. He turned up. I never seen Cat turned up in the club, so I guess I, that's how he turned up. But other people looking, I'm thinking he just, he being funny, being Cat. Boom comes on stage, and he want to turn up and out turn up Cat Williams. So after they they get on the joint, he tell him like, Cat look man like what you doing? Like how you like he really trying? He got dudes they hyping him up to like like you want to battle Cat on who can? Why would you even do that? The man that said they'd take you on the road with him. So we giving him the look, like, chill out. He's like, yo, why? He was like, I just tried to put you on. And then whoever he had with him had words with Cat. And they went back and forth. Cat asked him, is this the stance you take it? And whoever, somebody told him, yeah, we'll do this. And Cat was like, you know what? The Seagull show, I ain't come here for that. But the moment his show's over, the last song, had that same energy. I don't know if it went all in that words, but that's what I heard. Like after, it was like, no, they was fucking with Cat. Cat ass boom, is that's the stance he taking. And then one of his peoples went, uh, said something to Cat. Cat was like, just let him finish his show. Let's not fuck up his, like, this is, he was like, let him finish the show, man. Soon as that last joint with all, that's why when you see Cat doing like this, he's pointing to the nigga that was talking shit to him, mm. that was threatening him. He was pointing to the nigga that was threatening him, and he had his cash on. He just spiked his hand and all that shit. But, so now, I don't know, did you, because <laughs> I don't want to say certain shit that was, because Cat was on why. He was like, them nigga, nigga, y'all ain't, I ain't that dude. Yeah, that was, that was crazy. And soon as I was like, yo, I thank y'all for coming out. Da -da -da -da. Cat pointed at that nigga. It was, and when he rocked He's waiting for that moment. <laughs> I said, yo, he was like, oh, Cat told them, soon as you finish the last song, had that same energy. And then he followed through. Yeah, he followed through. Yeah. But you know what's crazy, though? And they did all the goofy shit. Yeah. The, That's so, yeah. I ain't like jumping that. on him and yeah, so like, forth. Come on, man. Cat, like. He's like, what, five feet tall? Cat must have fucked him up. Because they said Cat hit him with the elbow like the, mm. he must have clipped him. Yeah, but that was some goofy, ignorant ass shit that I ain't like that shit. So I gave Cat back his car, all that shit. You gave it back to Lambo? Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. Because I, like, how could I keep that? But that wasn't your fault. It was on my watch. It was though. on your watch. It's on, on the stage that's supposed to be my stage that. But that's when you get a bunch of people, then somebody, everybody want to bring somebody. You look up, turn around, you know, four people on stage, but it's 30 niggas back there. When you gave Cat the car back, how did Cat react to it? He ain't want it back. Oh, he didn't want it back. He was like, I gave that to you. We was cool after that. It just wasn't sitting right with me. Yeah. Because I did a couple dates with Cat, came out before him, and I was like, 
can't do it. Mm. Integrity. You don't see yeah, it too often. I couldn't do that. 